Hey everybody, Crazy Canuck here. Welcome to another course design tutorial. Uh, we haven't done one in a little while. Uh, people have been asking. And today I think this would be a perfect time to cover water features. Uh, so some more advanced ones. I talked a little bit about uh, kind of rivers and streams in Course Design 101, but we didn't really get too much into it. Um, I kind of want to show you how to make, um, you know, a little bit more into kind of smaller little streams. And a little bit I'm going to touch on waterfalls, as we're going to have to make a tiny one here, because a lot of people are asking, well, how do you get a creek like this one, for example, to go down the hill? So that's what I'm trying to do. If you look at these rocks here, this is kind of the kind of the rough path of how I want this creek to flow through these holes here. This is my new project called Blind Rabbit Golf Club. So the big key to this is keeping things flat. Uh, otherwise, it can be a headache. And people have seen me work on this on stream, and I am struggling with this a lot too. It is it's a pain in the butt, and you know I don't know if I'm really doing it the most efficient way, but it seems to be working for me so far. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you what I'm doing, and if you can find some more efficient ways, always let me know. So I'm going to start by kind of flattening this part out a bit, because this is the part that um, is going to connect to the part before we go downhill. So don't, don't, don't I'm just using this really sharp square brush here. And again, we'll flatten it all, or we'll kind of fix everything a little bit later, but I don't want to do too much. So I'm just advanced editing this brush. So it kind of comes out to about there, and then I'm going to kind of tilt it so it's coming this way. So right now I'm just making sure it is lined up nice and flat with the water level that I already have. So again, if you can see the stream I have here, the banks are really low, the water's kind of flowing through. Um, that's the look I want. It's not done yet, I still might add some water effects and stuff. So I'm going to lay down that, and yeah, it's going to create something really f dead flat, which is what I want. But yeah, it's going to have these weird ridges and stuff, so we can fix that really easily um, by just using our fuzzy brush, and we'll go in there and try not to change the flatten that we just did too much. We're going to keep the edge on the other side just for... Um, we might use it for our little waterfall there so okay all right so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to again use my fuzzy brush i'm going to get it really small and i'm going to kind of trace the path that i want this creek to flow through so i kind of want it to come back this way and then kind of hit here and hit go down the uh falls here so this is where i'm going to make my little waterfall it's going to be really tiny. It might be multi-tiered too. We'll see. So I'm not going to go too deep down, maybe about six or seven feet. And then I'm just going to click and drag. So clicking and dragging along until I hit about here. Made a nice little depression there. Next, we will add our water table, water body. And don't worry too much about the si size of this. Oh, I'm getting a YouTube subscriber. <laughs> really got to turn those off during my recordings. Okay, so don't worry too much about um, it, it's covering things right now. Just make sure it's lined up with the water table that you already have. So make sure those, those light blue edges are lined up. So what I mean, like kind of right in right in here, make sure those are lined up, okay? So now you're gonna get this this absolute mess of something here. Well, that's okay, we're gonna fix that right away. So now, because we've already created that depression, just us flattening, it only flattens with the highest point. So once we do, all we have to do is just use this little fuzzy brush and just raise it up a little bit. And as you can see, it's gonna carve the stream path itself for the most part drop it down a little bit yeah it's already kind of making it like that yeah that it is kind of doing this weird graphical thing where if you go back enough it looks like it's not connected and then it is that's a weird graphical thing i think it's just because it's a little bit too 
um, it's not deep enough. I think that's probably the reason. That would be my guess, is if I just made it a little bit deeper in here, it should get rid of it. Yeah. But again, I don't want my stream to be too wide. There we go. Okay. We're getting there. But now I'm just going to, I don't mind putting a little bit of elevation in here. Just like that. And now we forgot to put in the flowing water. And when, I, I talked about this, I think, in 101. But you can actually lay down the water table um, beforehand. Yeah, this is really shallow. I think that's kind of the reason why. So I think I might make this a little bit deeper. It's not quite deep enough. I think I want a little bit more of an edge than that. That's a bit better. Okay. So just finish raising all that up. Okay, so now we're getting ready to do our waterfall there. But first, we actually have to do the water body. Um, so we got to do the flow rate. So just select water body. I always make my flow speed pretty high. And then just kind of line up where the flow path is going. Now, some people would do like a separate water body for that direction and then swap it out to do another direction for a little bit more realism. Like I probably should have done that. But I mean, are we, I don't know if we're being that much of a stickler here. Yeah, I probably should have, but that's fine. I mean, if people are going to, you can criticize me all you want for that, but. There you go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this brown edge. So all we have to do there is just add a little heavy rough. Lay it down. Just like that. And we now have our creek. This is a little bit wider than uh, I had before. Kind of here is a little bit narrower and then it widens out a little bit so i may fix that a little bit yeah all i have to do is just kind of bring it in like this just add a little bit of i don't mind if it's not completely flat but this just helps narrow it up a little bit and again the only reason i'm able to manipulate it like this is because i made it really flat to begin with so uh, do that first before you start putting your creek down. I find that's the most helpful is to make things flat. Okay, so that'll work there. That is a very shallow little creek. Okay, so now the fun part. Now we're going to get into the waterfall. Uh, so I think we're just going to, for simplicity's sake, I think we're just going to do one kind of like mid-length little waterfall here. And then we'll kind of connect it. We'll put like almost like a little pool here and then the stream will start again. But we're just going to kind of go out to about here just for, for time's sake. All right, waterfalls, here we go. So what I like to do with a waterfall, I'm going to again start it here. I want this edge to be really sharp, okay? Because if it's not sharp, um, you don't get that effect that it looks like it's falling. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use that really sharp square brush again. And I'm going to go down to kind of the height where I want the water to fall. And I'm going to extend it so I get a nice sharp edge that lines up. So I can just see the blue bit of that water table there. That's exactly what I want right there. So yeah, the 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 edges of the stream there look really rough, but again, I'm gonna do some planting in there, so it's gonna look it won't you won't be able to see that. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, I don't need to make it very big. This is where it can get it's a little finicky, as you can see.
little bit further back. I, ha I feel like I had it before. There. So we've got that sharp little edge there. Okay, so now we're going to create our waterfall effect. Now this, I would maybe... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how this is actually going to look. I kind of want to make the mouth of this waterfall maybe a little bit wider. Kind of like that. Okay, as it kind of makes its way down. Just for simplicity's sake there. Okay, so now we're going to add our water feature. So we will add, where is it? There we go, create water. So we're going to create our water feature. Even though it is a low falls, technically, still use the high, because you can't really see if you look the, the low falls that great. So, I mean, if it's, an, if it's a really low falls, use that, but... High falls, I tend to use more. It looks really powerful, so we're going to try to hide as much of that as possible. So I'm going to, again, advance edit. I'm going to make it really short and really narrow. Because, again, I don't really want to show off that it's that powerful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up right with the water level so it's as close to flush as possible with that little that dark blue line there really hard to see here but there we go that's probably close enough okay and then it is just falling over but we're gonna have to make that edge a little bit better so i think we just extend it a little bit more just like that. Okay. So as you can see, it's only falling down a little bit, so we need to fix this part here. So again, going back into the sculpting tool. As you can see, it's start to show up a little bit. There we go. So that is what we want right there. like that okay all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get rid of these edges you have to be careful not to completely ruin the sharpness of the waterfall here so you can have a little bank here that's totally fine like you can kind of plant that area there So I'm going to get as close in as I can. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to make my little pool. So I'm going to pick a little depression here. So it's going to kind of come through like this. And then I'm going to lay down another little body of water. Okay. Water body. There's the pool for our waterfall here. So maybe have it extend kind of like that. Just like that there. Now it kind of messed up the waterfall again, so we've got to work on that. Again, I'm just going to flatten and push this back. So it's tough to get a really clean looking waterfall. You kind of got to hide a lot of it with planting. Um, it is tough to do. Okay, so I kind of do that. And then we can continue the, um, the stream here. So we'll do that and then we'll kind of get back to it. I'll show you how I would kind of plant something like that. So 
So again, same kind of thing we did last time. I'm just going to do a little part of it. So maybe just to about, where's this going to go? Edge here. So again, I'm just kind of keeping this flat. Kind of like that. Oh, actually I went the wrong way. Boy, yeah, this is where it's, this is trial and error here. So don't be uh, discouraged uh, like I am. I get really frustrated with doing this, not going to lie. Um, raise it a little bit higher here. Kind of something like that. There we go. Now I'm going to add my little... Uh, creek bed. Oops. And we'll use the fuzzy brush again. Oh, and my advance edit on. And then we'll kind of continue where we, we left off here. And kind of go like this. Maybe to about there. Okay. And then another little water table. Again, I'm going to try to line up my water table as best I can with the one I already have. It already, I think it automatically kind of lines up, so that's good. So I don't need that much, so I'll just kind of go to about there. Like that. And then we're going to clean that up a lot. So yeah, flattening is the name of the game with this. Just kind of seeing how it looks. Not sure if I'll actually keep this one, but for tutorial sake, it's it's good. It's fine. So we're just again really small movements with the brush and we'll fix the edge here okay. like that this already is flowing, but not quite in the right direction. The flow speed is all messed up. There we go, something like that. Okay, and then I would, again, just fill it in with heavy rough. Depending on the look you want, of course, you can brown that in if you want, whatever you want to do. There we go. And yeah, you can see the blue edge there, but you actually, in game, you don't actually see that sharp blue edge. So don't worry too much about that at all. So that's kind of how you can go downhill. I, I mean, I think actually for, yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this. <laughs> because I think for this course, I wouldn't do a drastic waterfall. I'd probably do a multi-level one. So again, it's doing the same thing, just at different heights. So I would probably do that um but yeah I, I wanted to show like a more dramatic waterfall so yeah don't expect it to kind of stay like this um but anyway in terms of kind of like trying to hide the thing um i have a few trees and stuff i like you can do rocks and trees or whatever it really depends on the locale and stuff like that but i like to hide the edges as best i can so Kind of using these big um, bushes here. You can use some rocks as well. So I'm hiding all the little mistakes I've made, basically. 
add a few some rocks too. Let's go with something like this. And just kind of jam them into the side there. Advance edit so they're kind of in the edge there. Kind of do things like this. Mix up the type of rocks. Yeah, like I said, I'm just kind of, I'm really hiding the edge of it as, as best I can. And you'll get kind of a nice look. So yeah, try to hide as much of it as you can. This is admittedly not my best waterfall, but um, it'll do for this tutorial, I, I think. It's hard to like fine tune and make a perfect waterfall and like keep it in a relative, like I would probably spend over an hour on this, but I'm trying to make it like a 20 minute one. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit tougher to do. Okay, and then I would probably just fill this area with some heavy rough, like this. And actually, I think I would keep kind of part of the edge a little bit rockier, maybe. Okay, so sometimes there's parts there that kind of stay brown because that's hiding, that's exposed, so. It's an easy fix. Just raise it up a little bit, and that should make the little the brown area go away once you raise it up enough. Stubborn little thing. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, I mean, kind of for planting along the side. Oh, we could also add, like, a splash effect, too. That's kind of a cool look. Um, the water feature, kind of like the high splash. Kind of a cool little splash feature like this. And just kind of try to put it so it's just at water level. And then you can get kind of a cool look. If that's too dramatic, just sink it down a little bit. If that's a little bit probably too much. And then just wait for the steam to go away. That'll give you a bit more of a... See, that's probably all I need to do there. not terrible but yeah I, I think for this course i would want to do like a, a smaller little fine-tuned multi-level one um but again just for time's sake i just kind of wanted to show you how to do a, a quick waterfall so here i mean i'm kind of hiding all the edges here but like right here i mean even if someone's up here they're gonna see that ugly edge so just try to make sure all of those edges are hidden so again i'm just gonna kind of use a little bush to kind of hide that a uh, little mess up here. Just there we go. So one there. So people can't actually see the true edge, so it almost looks like the water is floating. So if you hide it like that, then no one's gonna be able to tell. There you go. Okay. And then you know, just planting along my creek, just some ideas, I guess. You know, I, I kind of like to plant in little chunks, so you know, I'm using a couple of these brushes, or these bushes, I mean. I don't mind them sneaking into the water at all, a little bit. Um, you know, maybe adding a few little rocks. Okay, use different kinds, but yeah, and then maybe a couple different types of grasses. Click and spin. And you can kind of do that throughout your creek area. And you get a little bit more of a natural kind of look to it. So I would probably do that probably most of the way along here. So, yeah. So that's about it. So we kind of laid a nice little uh, creek. As you can see, it's really starting to flow nicely out of the woods there. Um, and it's going to make its way all the way through. It's going to be a real main focal point of this golf course. So um, as it's going to run all the way up around 11 and then kind of come in around 18 as well. So yeah, some cool plants for this. But like I said, this is not my greatest waterfall for sure. But I wanted to show people kind of how to do it, um, how to kind of fine tune things 
and yeah it's it's a lot of just kind of trial and error and and playing with it everyone's kind of got a different method for doing it this is kind of works for me um mine's a little bit sloppy just due to amount of time i want to keep this kind of under a 30 minute tutorial so so yeah there it is and then i've kind of got a nice little look here yeah let's just try to look at the yeah so the best way to best way to see is i'm just gonna play this hole and i want to see what that t box would look like i'd obviously change probably the where it was but i'm just kind of seeing if i could see any major edge difference here but no it's not bad so yeah that's actually pretty darn good okay i think that is it for our little creek tutorial um yeah like i said i'm gonna definitely probably do a multi-level waterfall so if you want to watch me do that at some point uh, i might do that on uh on twitch sometime okay guys thanks for watching uh be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it um and subscribe you know all that stuff that youtubers tell you at the beginning of videos i save it till the end so thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see you next time